Hey there, today we are gonna do a seven, 14 or 23 minute workout. So it depends on your fitness levels. You might wanna just do the seven minutes and then leave us there. You might wanna do another round, do 14, or you might be up for the 23 minutes. Um, I do have a step here. The other alternative is a chair um, or your sofa. With um, my chairs, I don't actually have any. We have massive benches, so I couldn't bring them over here to show you what I would do inside. Um, so that's what you could use as, a, as an alternative for the um, step there. But everything else is just body weight. So we will get started. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So get ready for our first 30 seconds. I'm just about to put the timer on. We've got 10 seconds until we get into it. So for the first round, you might wanna just, I'll wait for the beats. For the first round, you might wanna just take this gently because you're not warm yet. If you did warm up before the video, you might wanna pause it now and warm up before. We're gonna do jumping jacks. So the hard version is jumping jacks. I just showed you that easy option for those that don't wanna jump. So that easy option is lunging side to side. If you want a really hard option, you're going for jumps where you're not tapping out and in. So there's the options there for you. We've got two seconds left. Good, we're gonna hold a wall squat. So find a bit of wall and hold a wall squat. Oops, almost forgot the break. It's got another three seconds, two, and then wall squat. So find yourself a wall and just sit yourself down. Just make sure that your thighs are parallel with the floor there. So we're not sinking too low, but we're also not staying up too high. So come down enough. And holding it here. Keep your back up against the wall, try not to lean forwards, and don't use those hands to grip too hard. We've got another five seconds. Four, three, two, and next one is push-ups. So coming down to the floor, you've got a few options here. You can either start on your knees and go for little box push-ups, that's your very easy option. Middle option, on your knees. Hard option, on the toes. So we've got 30 seconds here. You choose, make sure your body stays in a nice straight line. You don't want to be coming down and then swerving up and you don't want to be doing them with your bum in the air. So make sure your body's in a nice straight line. Whew. Three seconds, come nice and low. Ab crunches, so rolling onto your back. Getting ready for some sit-ups. I've got another three seconds break. Easy option, have the hands down by your side. I'm not a massive fan of coming all the way up in sit-ups. I think you get just as good a workout by coming this far without engaging the hips too much. Middle option, arms crossed over the chest. Hard option, elbows out. Just make sure they don't swing in the whole time that the elbows are actually out at the side. Belly button pulling in, try not to let the abs dome out. Step ups, so this is where you can use your chair or you can use a step outside or inside the house and go. So lead with one leg, change, lead with the other. Lead with one and then the other. So this is a really good all-round workout for your whole body. Seven seconds. Good. Squats. I'll give you a couple of different options. So our easiest option is just to do a normal bodyweight squat. The hard option, you could turn them into squat jumps. So either just normal squatting but going right back, chest staying lifted, or you've gone for that squat jump option. Up to you. Depends how hard you wanna to work today. Good job, keep it going. Five more seconds. Good, tricep dips. So again, if you've got just a regular chair or sofa inside, you can use that. I'm gonna be using my step. 
and go. So elbows point behind you, knees are bent for the easy option. Harder option, extend the legs out. Good, doing well. Keep it going. Try not to let the shoulders round too far forward. Keep the chest open. Abs in. Three seconds. And done. Lovely. We've got the plank now. Now, lots of different options with the plank. I'm gonna go this way. Easy option on the knees. Hard option, come up onto the toes. You're wanting the elbows directly underneath the shoulders. So make sure the elbows aren't up here. Draw them down and your chin is pretty much just above your hands. Belly button in, you don't want to be sinking. You also don't want to be like this. So maybe have a look in a mirror when you get a chance to make sure you're in the right position. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, high knees. Now again, for those of you that don't want to jump, you can just do simple knees without that jump. Two seconds and we're off. So high knees, lifting up. And again, for those of you who don't want to jump, you could maybe do small little runs instead. So a few options. Whew. Hopefully your heart rate's up as well. Seven, six seconds. Two, one, great job. Lunges, a few different options here. If you are not very familiar with lunges, you might wanna just start on one leg and switch to the other. So we're gonna come down and up. If you are just doing one leg at a time, then stay with that leg, I'll tell you when we're at the 15 second mark. If you wanna make this harder again, then you could do plyometrics. 15 second mark, so if you were on that leg and you're doing singles, then do the other side. Plyometrics, you're jumping. So that's your harder option. Cool, we've got push up with a rotation. So back down on the ground. And go, so it's a push up. You can do it on your knees if you want to and twist. Push up on the other side and twist. Harder version on the toes. Good. Push up and twist and open. Push up, twist and open. Great stuff. Good. Nearly there. Excellent. We've got side plank. So we're gonna be coming onto our side for this one. Elbow on the ground. Easy version, knee stays on the ground. Hard version, come up onto your feet. So all up, the amount of work that you've done is seven minutes by the time we finish this. Takes a little bit longer because you've got those 10 second rests in the middle. But we're nearly there. Only one more exercise the other side. That's your seven minute workout. Good, keep holding. Three, two, one, and change. Let's do the other side. So again, remember that easier option if you want it on the knee. One, and let's go. Good, so hold it here. Try not to let the hip drop, really push the hip up high. This elbow is underneath the shoulder, don't let it go out too far. You wanna keep it tucked in underneath your body. We're halfway through. You're doing a great job, keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Now that's your seven minutes done. Who's gonna join me for 14 minutes? All right, let's go jumping jacks. So remember that easy option and the harder option, up to you. Nice work, by the way, for carrying on. 
and don't beat yourself up if you haven't carried on you haven't quite switched me off yet you've done a great job of seven minutes just make sure you stretch now good wall squat so skip to the end if you have finished your seven minutes and do some stretches oh whoops we're here for longer I forgot about the break sorry guys it's a 40 second squat today great stuff make sure your knees are nicely lined up as well so nice straight line with the knees they're not coming in towards each other or weirdly out another 10 seconds good back up against the wall abs in three two one push-ups is our next thing we've got 10 seconds off three two and let's go so remember easy option on the knees toes is the harder option or you've got those little box push-ups you decide keep the abs in nice straight line with your body only go as far as you can without dipping the hips and arching your back if you feel it in your back go for an easier option nice work we've got ab crunches remember the easy option hands by side middle arms crossed over hard elbows are out you choose so coming up high enough that you can really feel that you're going to have to all of a sudden kick into the legs to get you back up so it's that highest point that you can do before you really feel that you're going to have to put that extra bit of push in and at that point that's when the hips take over a bit too much we're trying to just get the abs working good doing well step ups now I didn't do this the first time around but you're probably a bit hardcore because you're staying for another round instead of step ups you could go for step jumps so up to you either jump and return and then the other leg return or staying with your step ups your choice remember to change legs I forgot just then one leg steps down the other leg steps down five seconds good and then we've got squats so your choice either squats just normal or jumping with squats as well make sure your knees are tracking in a nice straight line through the center of your foot so you've got the squat jumps as your harder option you choose make sure the butt goes back chest stays lifted I don't want you folding forwards like this in a squat we're staying upright good 10 seconds to go and I hope you've done it already but I'd highly recommend cranking some good music so over the top of me have the best music in the background tricep dips guys so that you've got something to keep you motivated when you're working out straight legs for that harder option or even one leg over the other adds a bit more weight and pressure to the arms good nice work you're nearly there great two one plank you can actually do the plank on your hands a lot of people tend to get nasty wrists from this which is why I prefer the elbows remember elbows underneath the shoulders don't have the elbows too far forward really draw the shoulders down your back as if you're trying to squeeze a pencil underneath your armpits good nice deep breaths nice and strong switch the legs on pull your belly button up draw the shoulders down your back good we've got high knees next desperate for a quick drink 
bit of a water guzzler when I work out. Let's go. Easy option. Either fast legs here or just knees without the jump. Excellent work, guys. Keep it going. Just think about why you're doing this workout, what goals you've got, and what you want to achieve. Keep pushing it through. Three, two, one. Good. We've now got lunges. So I kind of got cut off in talking about the last lot of lunges. You've either got your plyometrics, the jumping, normal, or just stay on one side. So if you're staying on one side, you're gonna do 15 seconds. I'll let you know when you can change to the other side. Middle option, keep changing from leg to leg. Big stride. So you wanna make sure that back knee comes down towards the floor. The front knee doesn't go over the toes. So it's a big step. Or you've got your jumping plyometric lunges. Three seconds. Whew. I'm more out of breath than I thought I'd be on this. We've got push-ups with a twist. Here we go, and go. Push-up and twist. Easy option, drop to the knees. That bottom knee stays down, the top leg lifts up as you twist. Hard option, stay on the toes, keep the feet close together. Good, 10 seconds left. Doing a great job, guys. Nice work. Side plank. So we've got five seconds of rest. Get ourselves ready. And go. Holding it there. Remember, drop into the knee for the easy option. Shoulder down your back. So try to make sure the elbow is tucked in and it's not miles away from you. Hips lifted. Good. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, it's hot in here. Good. Oh, I should have put the air con on. All right, other side. Then this is the end of your 14 minute workout. Let's go. If you want to just finish at 14 minutes, that's fine. Just make sure you whiz to the end and do the stretches. So we're gonna do one more round after this to make it our 21 minute workout. I think I said 23 before, it's our 21 minute workout. Can't count. Got three seconds left. And done, good. All right, either finish off there or join me for one more round. We've got four seconds. Jumping jacks. Let's go, last round, seven minutes. That's all you've got to give me, another seven. You're doing well. So they did some research about the seven minute workout saying that if that's all that you did, that it was a brilliant way of increasing your fitness. And they showed that that's all you needed to do each day to actually improve your cardiovascular health. Done. So that's not bad, seven minutes of working out. Of course, I'm a bit too hardcore and can't just do seven minutes. But it's a great starting point for those that don't exercise. Wall squat, let's do it. Actually, I should have said, if you want to make this harder, and if you do this again, you could always hold weight out in front of you here, like a heavy book, some cans, a bag of rice, anything that's gonna be weighty. And just holding it there, you'll really feel that burn in your shoulders. We've got four seconds. Three, oh, hope you're not just hearing my breath here. Push-ups is the next thing. I hope you're sucking in the gas just as much as I am. Two, one, and let's go. Good job, guys. Round three, you're gonna start to feel that fatigue kicking in a little bit. Do what you can. If you need to drop to an easier option, then do. 
Remember the knees is that easy push-up option or that box push-up. Five seconds. Good, sit-ups. Turning it around. Five seconds off. Well, five seconds left. And go. Really good idea to breathe out as you come up in your sit-ups. Helps to contract the abs. So especially if you breathe out with a forced breath, you'll feel those ab muscles switching on before you even start. I won't do that too much because all you'll hear is me breathing deep into that microphone. Keep going, you're doing well. Nice. We've got step ups next. Three seconds, two, let's go. So either stepping up, oops, I forgot to change legs. I have to do two on this side now and then alternate or jump ups. So up to you which ones you go for. Remember, step back, change the legs that you step back on. Now, if you've got a dodgy chair, probably wouldn't recommend jumping up onto it unless it's really stable. Good, we've got squats. So here we go, two, one, and squatting it down. Now you've either got just your bog standard regular squat, trying to get nice and low, nice straight knees, they're not coming in towards each other, or our squat jumps. Good work. Let's keep it going. Keep up that energy. We're nearly there, guys. Three seconds, two, and done. Tricep dips. Back to your chair, step, sofa, whatever you're using. And let's go. So down and up. Great. Remember that hard option, straight legs. One leg over the other for even harder. Might change which leg I do it on this time. As you're doing this as well, if you are going for that easier option, try to make sure you're not just using your legs more than your arms. So your bum, make it heavy, make it act as a weight. Good, got a plank. Remember, you need to put those elbows underneath the shoulders. Hands directly underneath the chin. Switch your legs on, make them tight. Push into your heels, pull your belly button up, draw the shoulders down your back. Imagine squeezing that pencil underneath the armpits. Good, if your back hurts at any time, drop to that easier option on the knees. If it's hurting in that option, then drop totally. You don't wanna hurt your back. Make sure you're doing safe exercising and listening to your body. High knees. All right, three seconds. Easy option, you're just tapping up or fast running. Harder option, join me if you can. Don't give this a go if you know you can't. Just do what your body's capable of. Ten seconds, guys. It must be getting tough even I'm looking at the time. Five. Two. One. Good job. Oh, I've lost where we are. Lunges. We're we going in four, three, two, and one. So switching sides for your middle option. Plyometrics for your hard option. If you've gone just for the one leg, you've got four more seconds on that side. And change legs if you've gone for just the single. Now it's time to do 15 seconds on the other side. Make sure as well, it's a wide stance. You don't wanna be tightrope walking because then you're not gonna be able to balance. Great. We've got push up and a rotation. We've got three more exercises. 
keep with me and go push up and twist keeping the feet close together remember you can do this on your knees push up and twist push up and twist or stick with the toes for that harder option good we're nearly there guys that's it side plank and then we're done we've just got each side shoulder down your back it's not up here get it underneath the elbow underneath the shoulder oh my tummy's grumbling I'm not sure if you can hear that I hope not nice one keeping that hip lifted if you want just for those last 10 seconds start doing some pulses squeeze it up three two one done well done let's go the other side this is it our finale three seconds two one and up you go shoulder down your back elbow directly underneath the shoulder hips lifted belly button in and really trying to open the chest out we'll get ready to do those hip pulses for those last 10 seconds and here we go pulse 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 this is optional if you're already dying I probably wouldn't do this five four three two one excellent job guys well done that was a really good workout we're now going to include some stretches so we're going to get our hamstrings stretched out bring one foot in front of the other tailbone up towards the ceiling and point the toes up towards the ceiling give those calves a bit of a stretch as well so whether you did 7 14 or 21 minutes well done it's a great start and then changing over to the other side I've got this horrible thing when I work out I've got these massive veins in my head it's very unattractive does anyone else get those let me know if you do I feel like I'm on my own with that one good and then coming up bringing the heel up to your bum pull the knee back tummy in so don't let yourself arch all the way up pull the belly button in and hopefully your heart rate should be slowing down should be getting a nice stretch through the front of the hip and change over to the other side if you're bad with balance feel free to hold a wall tuck the tailbone under lift through the chest how are you all feeling it'd be great to get your comments on this workout glute stretch next so if you need to hold on to something then do we're taking one foot over the other so yeah please comment below let me know if you like this video how you found the workout whether you did 7 14 or 21 minutes and also let me know what what other workouts you'd like so and share with a friend share the love get them involved invite them to the Facebook group good so stretching out that other glute your glute is your butt I hope you can feel it lovely now chest stretch we're going to place an arm on the wall elbow bend and just turn away from the wall so you should feel that stretch across the front of the chest good holding it there so we're doing triceps reach one hand above the back and then just really trying to push down with that top hand and then switch over to the other side
Good, reach all the way up, stretch and open. Then bring it down in front and round through the shoulders. Feel that stretch through your back. Nice job, guys, well done. Look forward to joining you tomorrow.